welcome back to another Science at Home. Uh, for today we're going to be talking about something called density. And so for this activity you're going to need some kind of container of water, uh, preferably clear so you can see how it's going. Uh, and then just a wide assortment of different materials and objects that you want to test out. So the density of an object basically tells you how heavy the object is in a certain size. So if we look at this little eraser here, this is made out of rubber. Rubber is typically something that's not very dense, so it's not very heavy for its size. If we had this eraser though and it was made out of something like steel, it would be a lot heavier for that same size, so it would be what's called more dense. Um, imagine though instead of rubber we could contain a bit, a bit of air that would be this size. Well that would be really, really um, not dense at all because air is very, very light for its size. So that's basically what density is, is for a certain size how much something weighs. And so um, a great way to test out density is by using water because water's density is one. So it's kind of a universal thing throughout the world. So if something, when you drop it in water, sinks, you know it has a density that's greater than one. If it floats on top of the surface, then you know its density is less than one. So um, what we're going to do today is test out a few different objects that I have and see what their density is at. So I'm going to start with our eraser. Um, like I said, made out of rubber, so we'll see. What do we think? I'll make some predictions before I drop it in there. And you notice our eraser sunk in there pretty quickly there. Um, you can see there's a little air bubble in there, so potentially if we had air trapped inside that eraser, it would make it less dense and it might float, depending if I dropped it the other way. Uh, but in this case, it ended up sinking. I'm going to take a different type of eraser. This one's a regular tube eraser. You see that's pretty dense. That's going to sink as well. Um, my next object to try is a wooden popsicle stick. So wood, most wood, is um, not very dense, and so it ends up floating on water. Our next one's going to be a paper clip. Now, you see our paper clip uh, sunk there. If you've seen our other video about making a compass with a paper clip, you know it can float on the surface, but you have to drop it in there just right so you don't break the surface tension of these. I'm just dropping these in so I break the surface tension so that paper clip is going to want to sink. Uh, next is a binder clip. That one sunk down to the bottom. Uh, I'm going to try a pencil next. So that's got some wood but some other materials. That's going to end up floating. And maybe I'll do one more. I'm going to drop a marble in there. Marble, pretty dense, sinks right to the bottom. Now, if you want to try something a little bit different with this, what you could do is try changing the density of your water. So if you added salt to this water, or if you added a bunch of sugar to it, um, it would actually make it more dense because you're putting more into that same amount of water. And then you could try redropping these things and see if that little change in density allowed them to then float in here. Thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you have fun with this activity.